Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom ROM and for our Redmi Note 11 and basically this is the uh, Raven OS and it is based on Android 12 and uh, uh, it is based on Xiaomi.eu 1302 as you can see here and it's Raven UI version is 4.0 and this is the Redmi Note 11 let me show you all specs as you can see here the RAM is extended 6 GB plus 3 GB and it is based on Android 12 and its security patch is also all the latest 1st August 2022 and as you can see here this is the pure Android 12 and uh, this is working pretty much cool without any issue and maybe this is more smoother and more optimized than the normal MIUI ROMs so in this video I will be showing you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11 and I will also show you a full review of this ROM and I will also show you what's working what's not working and can you use this ROM as your daily driver so without any further ado let's get started So first of all let's talk about its stability, uh, this ROM is completely stable and yes you can use this ROM as your daily driver, everything is just working fine, as you can see here the app opening animations are also played very well, there is no any single glitch or issue in this ROM, gaming experience is also good, you can use it for gaming and uh, there is not, uh, there are not a lot of janky applications installed in this ROM, uh, as you can see here there are only a few and uh, needed applications are installed. Dolby Atmos is present in this application which will be useful for managing the sounding quality and uh, yes you can use and add the widgets amazing widgets like Android 12 custom ROMs as you can see here these widgets looks pretty much beautiful on this typical MIUI theme and uh, in the camera we got this uh, MIUI camera and every single feature is working you can use every sensor and you can record the video you can use the pro mode you can take portraits and even you can use the 50 megapixel mode and you can also record the slow motion videos time lapse every option is just working and uh, it is just working fine as you can see here the picture quality is pretty much decent always on display is also spotted in this room as you can see here how beautiful it is looking and when you press the power button it will start playing the super wallpaper as you can see here it is really amazing it looks pretty much beautiful on this AMOLED screen and uh, now let's dig into the settings before going to the settings let me show you the quick setting as you can see here look at the beautiful and colorful quick settings of this room from here you can uh, manage the all uh, shortcuts and here we have playback me smart hub and from here you can uh, control the cats controls so now let's dig into the settings in the settings first of all we have the me account then we have my device in the my device you can check the Raven OS and the MIUI version Android version and uh, other things and after it we have apps from the apps you can manage the system apps manage apps and you can also manage the dual apps and you can also access the log application and uh, that's mean no need to install any third party app locker in this room so after it we have sims and some wi-fi and connectivity options then we have wallpaper and personalization from here you can adjust the wallpapers you can simply switch to the wallpaper application from here you can access the my wallpaper gallery must have wallpapers and from here you can get the uh, super wallpapers and they are working pretty much good as i shown uh, already and from here we have the live wallpapers and we also have the still wallpapers in this room after it from here you can adjust the uh, always on display here are a lot of uh, options available like animations and text available you can use any of these you can also change the font style from right here and you can also adjust the font size you can change the ringtone notification tune alarm tone and you can also enable the notification 
uh, effect then from here you can change the font style and you can also access the themes and you can also download more themes by going to the theme store and after it we have always on display and lock screen settings from here you can tweak into the always on settings notification effect uh, sleep and uh, some other lock screen format style and uh, charging animation and launch camera options after it we have display in the display we have light mode and dark mode then we have scheduled dark mode and uh, more dark options available right here then we have brightness level anti flicker mode which is working pretty much cool as you can see here uh, this screen is pretty much near to the screen uh, to, to my camera as you can see here uh, but there is there are no any flickering on the screen and uh, after it you can uh, enable the reading mode you can also change the color scheme display resolution here we have full hd plus and quad hd plus which is also working right here and uh, after it we have the refresh rate option from here you can change the refresh rate to default and you can also set on the custom to 60 hertz or 90 hertz after it we have ai engine phone settings and some other system settings after it we have sound and vibration you already know uh, what you can do from these settings after it we have home screen uh, from here you can access the home screen launcher settings and you can do a lot of things right here from here and uh, after it we have fingerprint and some other security options like if you talk about the security the security in this room is very tight like face unlock fingerprint and all other so screen locks are working pretty much good as you can see here right now i am using the face unlock and it unlocks quickly as you can see here and uh, the on screen locks are also working very well and you can also enable or set up the fingerprint after it we have security then we have privacy protection and battery the battery performance of this rom is really amazing from here you can enable the battery saver and ultra battery saving then we have additional settings from here you can access the return time languages and input region gesture shortcut one handed mode which is uh, one of my favorite features from the android 12 as you can see here it uh, why it is not working as you can see here it really works pretty much cool you can access and control the whole screen with using one hand after it we have clear speaker accessibility memory extension uh, by enabling it you can extend the ram by uh, up to 3 gb so after it we have screen time special features in the special features we have sidebar floating windows and uh, second space kid space me ui lab privacy protection lab site uh, light mode by using this mode you will consume uh, you will put the mobile on the light mode and it will consume a very low battery and uh, other ram cpu gpu usage then we have google and accounts and things and if you talk about the recents from the recent we have cleaner right here let me decrease the battery uh, brightness here we have cleaner security scan deep clean manage application and from here you can enable the floating window of any application as you can see here you can use any application as floating window and you can also put the application uh, on the side for later use as you can see here you can extend it and also close it right from here so this was the review of this rom and if you want to install this rom on your redmi note 11 the process is very simple you just have to download the rom by a link in the description so after downloading the rom you have to transfer the rom to sd card or any external otg or hard drive i am using the otg uh, you can also uh, copy the file into your internal storage but we're gonna format the data that will uh, completely erase your whole data so make sure to backup your data after connecting your otg or uh, sd card uh, go to wipe click on format data type yes click on this tick button it will now wipe your whole data 
uh, just go back click on install I am not doing these steps because I have already installed I am not following these steps because I have already installed this ROM on my device so after inserting the SD card or connecting the OTG go to mount and enable the USB OTG or SD card then go to home click on install and from here you have to select the storage and click on OTG or SD whatever you are using click on ok and now you have to look at downloaded ROM here we have it uh, Raven UI 4.0 space fire ROM just click on it and flash your drive from here after flashing this ROM you don't need to flash any ex ex additional zip file uh, you just have to go to advance and click on flash TW flash current TWRP it will make your TWRP recovery permanent just swipe right from here after swiping these files and just go back to home click on reboot click on system and after following these steps your ROM will be installed on your Redmi Note 11 in a few minutes so hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel also press the bell icon keep supporting thanks for watching peace